Hi everyone, I'm William, a Microsoft Security Consultant with Redscape's global award-winning Microsoft Security Practice. Microsoft Defender for Identity is a solution allowing you to monitor your on-premise Active Directory and detect suspicious activity within your environment. It integrates with Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps and brings you as of today 11 built-in policies. These policies will help you to discover weaknesses in your infrastructure such as legacy components or misconfigurations and suggest your improvement actions. This information is pulled from sensors directly installed on your domain controllers or on a standard and servers and capture crucial events coming from AD, ADFS and Exchange Server. Those signals are then correlated into a single console available from the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps portal. So let's check this in a demo. To get started, navigate to portal.cloudappsecurity.com. And investigate an identity security posture. The dashboard will show you all the list of all available policies, related entities per policy, and finally, an indication of urgency. Let's check some policy now. The Disable Principle Service on Domain Controller will indicate if the Principle is enabled in any of your domain controllers, which could allow an attacker to run some remote code and potentially encrypt your data in a ransomware attack scenario or allow him to access sensitive data. To get more information, select the policy. You will find the name of all your domain controllers, the related domain, the principle uh, configuration, such as the status and the startup type, and some recommended actions. Each policy comes with a link to docs.microsoft.com for more information about this vulnerability and how to remediate it. Next, let's look at an improvement action policy. Deploy Microsoft Labs on every Windows device. The Local Administrator Password Solution, or Labs, allows you to manage your local administrator password securely. It generates a different password on each device and saves it back to Active Directory. It is only readable by a subset of your users and roll over automatically after a defined period, and thus improving the attack surface reduction across your organization. The detail of this policy gives you a statistic split per domain across your environment, the number and the percentage of all devices not managed by labs and the total number of devices discovered per domain. It brings you as well two links, one to docs.microsoft.com, uh, highlighting the importance of installing and deploying labs across your organization, and the other one to download the solution, some instructions, and the system requirements. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you found this useful. 